Thanks. Other questions or comments? Yes? Well, there's been a lot of talk in the news lately about you know, one, of your, one of your least favorite subjects, abortion. Um, and so this leads me to ask um, if you would support, I, I know the Republican platform and uh, Governor Romney have slightly different views on abortion for rape victims. So I'd like you to clarify what your position is. Oh, it's been the same for 20 years. I'm uh, pro-life, with exceptions for people like the mother rape and incest. I'm so avidly pro-life that I'm against the uh, corporal punishment. It's hard for me to be pro-life and pro-death at the same time. Nobody ever asked me that question for about eight years. And I was in debate over in Howard County. And uh, uh, Ben Cardin was there. And uh, his opponent didn't show up. So I had my opponent and Ben Cardin both kind of attacked me. And this question came up about capital punishment. And uh, that ended the debate. They couldn't believe it. I, I, I'm a pretty conservative Republican. And you know, I, I read two books in the past. One was, uh, boy, I can't remember. 88 men and two women, the working laws. And these were the people executed who was the working things. And the other was one man's freedom, Edward Bennett Williams. And in each of those books, it was a big law chapter on corporal punishment and was it in its term. And I know of no professional who believes it is a deterrent. And it, it diminishes me. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, uh, avidly pro life. I, I, I reverence my. And uh, it, it just be mentioned. It's Thank you for being consistent in the policy. Yeah, I, 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 for like, I came hard over with Carla Faye Tucker. You remember Carla Faye Tucker? How many remember Carla Faye Tucker? Okay, but Carla Faye Tucker was a drug crazed teenager who was involved in a hideous murder in Texas. And she was in jail. By the way, it's, we plan and we lot this, this uh, uh, execution for it on average. 14 years and no other more premeditated killing in the world than executions in our country. We plan it, audit for an average of 14 years. Carla Tate, Carla Faye Tucker became a born against Christian. She was, in, in, in effect, a missionary in the penitentiary that everybody recognized. And I woke up the next morning and I said, who in God's green earth is better off today because we killed Carla Faye Tucker yesterday? And so I pretty much came hard over it. Some crimes are so hideous that we're right there. Mm. In a bit of anger, I could kill the person. I recognize that's kind of an ignoble a reaction to it, isn't it? It's not that they don't deserve to die. It's just that, you know, I'm not so concerned about what it does to them. I'm concerned about what it does to me and to our culture. That's right. But then to go to one step further, then how then, if you have somebody that can a violent, heinous crime, i.e. Yeah. forcible rape, yeah. which results in the pregnancy of the woman who was forcibly raped. What is your position? Oh, uh, life of the mother, uh, exception of life of the mother, rape and incest. Yeah, I, I've always, that's, that's a mantra, you know, I've said it so often, it just spills out. If you really, there are very few pregnancies as a result of rape, fortunately. So you're compared to, compared with to that. the usual abortion, but what is the percentage of abortions you rate? It is tiny. It is tiny, tiny percentage. There's 20,000 pregnancies every year from rape. Yeah, and how many abortions? In the millions. That's 20,000 rapes. That's 20,000 people who are violated. Yeah, I know, I know. That's but a lot. In terms that's that's 20,000 to make. Percentage of pregnancy, uh, percentage of abortions for rape as compared to overall abortions, it's a tiny, tiny and incest is quite high too, believe me, in Appalachia we sell oh, yeah. on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah. But again, it's a tragedy for the family and the person, but in terms of, of actual numbers, it's a pretty small percentage of the total number. Unless you're the one. <laughs> yep, yeah, most abortions, most abortions are for what purpose? Family planning. Just don't want to have a baby. A second reason for abortion is you'd like a boy and it's a girl, or vice versa. And I know a lot of people are opposed to abortion who are pro. How many how many children die every year from child abuse because it's an unwanted, unwanted pregnancy? I started my career yeah. in child abuse and it was horrible. The research we had done at the University of Pittsburgh showed the number one reason why people had abused their children is because they were unwanted children. 
So yeah. we need to have greater access to family planning, yeah. and yet some people want to defund family planning. When I ran 20 years ago, I was a uh, teacher, a, a researcher, a farmer. I built homes. I never had to think about this. And I really had to search my soul to see where I was going to be. And the, uh, uh, the arguments you were making, you know, I made them to myself. You know, there are times when the kind of a life that that child is going to have but we need to have accessible choices for women so they don't get pregnant. We need to eliminate unwanted pregnancies. Absolutely. Absolutely. You'll find no bigger supporter of that. Thank you. That's right. Because no of those who want to defund Planned Parenthood. Yes. Yeah. Any other questions?